If you look at bathymetric maps of the world's oceans, you see textures like this. The seabed is cross-cut by fracture zones. What are these features? Well, in this presentation, we'll answer that question as though we were back in the early part of the 1960s, when bathymetric data were first generally available to tackle the problem. But we're going to use modern data, such as you can see on virtual globes. So what are these faults? They seem to be offsetting the ridge system that runs down the middle of the Atlantic. Let's zoom in. Here we are in the central part of the Atlantic, looking at a feature called the Romanche Fracture Zone. Let's add some interpretation of the fracture system. Here we go, here are the fracture zones running across the Atlantic between Africa and South America. And we can also pick out the ridge system and see the offsets of it. So it's really tempting to suggest that this pattern was developed as if the fracture zones were false and that the sense of movement is as arrowed on there. So is this the structure, a ridge offset by faulting? This was a question posed by Earth scientists in the early part of the 1960s. And one problem is that if we think this is the fault geometry with this sense of offset, what happens at the ends? What happens at the tips of the faults? Because some of these displacements are very large indeed. So let's try and answer this problem. Let's add some more information. So first of all, for the fracture zones, only these segments in pink are seismically active, suggesting this is the only area that is active fault slip. Now let's look at some earthquakes that occurred on two of these fracture zones. And these earthquakes were large enough to be detected and located in their positions here, but also to obtain focal mechanisms. Here they are, and these betray the sense of movement on these two fracture zones. And these are strike slip focal mechanisms, and they imply right lateral offsets like this. So now let's put on the ridge segments again and the seismically active parts of the fracture zones you can see that the sense of movement defined by the focal mechanisms is opposite to the sense of offset of the ridge segments. So conventional interpretations treating the fracture zones as through-going faults offsetting a pre-existing ridge system are not appropriate. If we just look at those slip arrows, let's think about how the crust is moving past each other in those segments. It's moving like this, implying that the rocks are moving away from the ridge segments. So let's take that idea and apply it along the ridge system. And what we've done is illustrate that the seabed is moving away from the ridge, is indicating seafloor spreading. So although we've used modern data, we've used the logical arguments developed in the 1960s that was part of the evidence to deduce that seafloor spreading existed, a fundamental concept in plate tectonics. So what are all these faults? They're transformed faults, part of the primary evidence for seafloor spreading. 